guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a handstand tutorial, but before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Um, also, if you guys aren't liking my videos, instead of just unsubscribing, maybe you could tell me in the comment section on any of my videos if the comments are able. Um, just comment which videos you would prefer, and I can post more of those instead of just you know, you unsubscribing and not being able to see my videos anymore. Um, so yeah. Um, but today we're doing handsome tutorial, so let's just get into it. Okay, so before we get started, if you don't already know what a handstand is, the handstand is basically the most basic skill in gymnastics you can do. Um, every skill in gymnastics has some form of handstand, except for tucking shapes. Um, but if you don't know what a handstand is, it's this. Woo. I fell, but whatever. <laughs> so, of course, before you do any basic skill or really hard skill in gymnastics, you obviously need to stretch. So, a really good stretch for your wrists, because a uh, handstand is based off of mostly wrists, right? So you can just sit in a straddle, or you can sit like this, and you take your wrist, put them on the ground, and just rock. So these are wrist rocks. Okay, so you do it this way and this way, and then this way, and this way. So you can also do spaghetti, meatballs, sauce, garlic nuts, and cheese. So these really just stretch your wrists because, you know, you're on your hands, that's why it's called a handstand. Um, so another thing you mainly use in your handstand is your ankles. So you can just do ankle rolls, okay? So you just put your ankle up like this, 90 degree angle, okay? And you roll it around like that. And do this, each ankle probably like five or 10 times. Um, and just make sure to really take your time because stretching is super important. Um, so for back stretches, you can do something that's called a camel. Okay, so you're gonna look pretty stupid doing this, but you put your hands on each of your heels and you just lean back. So I do that for probably about 10 seconds. And then another thing are bridges and bridge rocks. So you just go up into your bridge. Okay, hold this for maybe like 10 seconds and then you rock. Look at my back crap. Okay, so maybe rock like 10 times. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the drills. Okay, so a drill you can do is getting a spotter. So this is my bestie, Malia. Okay, she's gonna be my spotter today. So spotters just basically help you hold your handstand while you're trying to find right shapes, good form, and learning how to be upside, upside down for long periods of time without stopping. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so notice how she helped me from falling down when I would have fall, fall, fell down. Fall down? Fell. I don't know. It prevented me from falling down. Um, um, and so I could find my shape, I could be hollow, I could squeeze, and I could push through my shoulders. So, say okay, thank you. Okay, so another drill you can do is just doing a handstand against the wall. So it's basically the same as having a spotter, but if you don't have a person near or with you, um, you can just go against the wall. It helps you hold your handstand, find shapes, uh, and squeeze. So then there's also, I'm falling. Okay. There's also a uh, baby handstand. So it's basically just like a small donkey kick. So you go into your handstand and you don't touch your feet. like that but it doesn't have to be held as long as I held it. Um, so then there's little handstands. This is the last drill by the way. Little handstands. So you just go into the handstand but you don't have to go all the way. So it's basically a baby handstand but your feet come together. So like this. Okay so it can be more like a pike handstand. Um, yeah. Okay so another important thing when it comes to handstands is your strength. So some of the good strengths you can have are arm strength, 
core strength and leg strength, but just so that you, it's easier to squeeze. Oh, and also a lot of shoulder strength. So one of the things you can do, I don't have a pull up bar, but, and if you don't have a pull up bar, this is totally optional. You really don't have to do this, but pull ups, I forgot, are they this way or this way? I think they're this way. So you're just gonna hang from the bar. Okay, this way. Okay, you're gonna hang from the bar and pull your chin up to the bar, okay? So, that is, that's a pull up. Um, and then another good thing for core strength and arm strength and shoulder strength are push ups. Okay, so when you do your push ups, maybe don't go outwards like this, because that's a lot easier. So, if you really want to get enough strength to hold your handstand for a long time, you want to go inwards like this, okay? So that's a little harder, just so you guys know. Um, and then another thing is plank, okay? So you can either do elbow plank or straight arm plank. I think, in my opinion, elbow plank is a little bit harder, but this is what it looks like. Or straight arm plank. Or you can even alternate between the two, so go. But just make sure you're squeezing that whole time. Um, another stretch or exercise that you can do are leg lifts. Okay. So you can either put your hands under your butt or just have them straight out beside you and lower them down and up and down. And just make sure you're slow and controlled knees. And then you can also do all around the world. Um, I would recommend putting your hands under your butt for this one. But basically, you just go. Okay, all around the world, like that. Or you can do an easier version, which is just a smaller circle. Like that. Okay, so some tips for your handstand are, make sure to push through your shoulders. So, let me give you an example. So, here is not pushing through my shoulders. Okay, I can't even get up to full handstand, but pushing through my shoulders. Okay, that wasn't the best hands that I've ever done, but as you can tell, it was a lot better. Um, but another reason why that one was a lot better was because I squeezed. So let me show you again, just so you can see. Not squeezing, looks like this. Okay, and squeezing looks like this. Okay, so even if you don't get up to vertical the first time you try a handstand, it's totally fine because you're still learning, you know, so. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this type of content, make sure to comment down below if the comments are turned on. I think they are. Um, and make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. See you next time. Bye.